All right, welcome to part three. Uh, in this one, we're gonna learn how to create our own functions, or as in uh, block uh, type programming, they just call it your own block. Uh, so I've already completed the program that I'm going to show you. Um, and I want you to see how much less code there is. It might be a little more confusing, but how there's a lot less blocks on the page. Um, almost about, almost half is as few blocks as there were in the last video when we did this maze challenge. So when we did the maze challenge, we went through and we went forward and we turned and we went forward and we turned and we went forward and we turned. And, we turned and, we turned. and I noticed every single time it was a 90 degree turn. It was either right or left. And every single time it was going forward. So we always had a forward and a turn. And since we had that, I figured, well, I could just make uh, something that repeats, right? Well, but then you have, sometimes you have a right turn and sometimes you have a left turn. So what I'm gonna do is just open up another tab here and go to uh, vr.vex.com, which you can do. You can have multiple tabs open uh, for different programs. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the playground for the wall maze. I already know that I'm gonna go forward and turn left and then forward and then turn left and then forward and then turn left. So I wanna do something that's gonna be able to make it easy for me to put in a distance that I want it to go forward and then whether I want it to go right or left. So if you go to my blocks, you click make a block. So I'm gonna call this uh, forward and turn. Now, I don't want it to just be forward and turn. Um, I want to add some information, but let's start with this. So if I created a forward and turn block, I'm going to put it down here. This is my own block. And so now in my drivetrain, or in my uh, drivetrain, I can go ahead and pull, say, drive two, forward 200, and then turn right. Uh, turn right 490 degrees. Now when I see under my blocks, I have this new block that I can drag forward and turn. So it's gonna turn forward and then turn right. Now I could change it in here to say turn left. So I'll push play and you could see all of a sudden, if you wanna see that again, let's catch that again. When I push play, you'll see the when started flash green and then the forward and turn flash green and then it jumps over to basically saying, well, what does forward and turn mean? Okay, whatever is snapped on to this little guy right here, that's what forward and turn is. So I'll reset that. It goes forward 200 and then turns. So what if I add a second one? Let's see what happens. It goes forward 200 degrees and then goes forward and see what it did. It did, it did a uh, left turn when I needed it to do a right turn. So I need something that says, when I use this forward and turn, I need to be able to first tell it how far I want it to go, and I need to be able to tell it uh, if I want it to turn right or left. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, and we're gonna start over, okay? So we're gonna call it forward and turn again, but this time I'm gonna add an input. And this input, I'm gonna call it now that's just what it's gonna show there by default. It's gonna say distance. Um, you don't actually, I don't think you have to have anything in there. Yeah, we'll leave it blank. And then you add an input, right? So I'm gonna say distance, no, not an input, sorry. A label, a text label. That way you know that that's what that one is, is distance. But we also need a right or left. Now, the easiest way to do this is with a Boolean. Um, so you select Boolean and then add a text label. And we're gonna say that right is true. So this text label right here, this is just for me. I don't have to have this. Left is false. Okay, now I've created my block. Okay, now down here, when whatever I put in here uh, is gonna what is gonna build that um, that function is what we call it in regular program. Okay, so the first thing I want it to do is drive forward, 
for a spe specified number. Um, yeah, I probably should have written something in there, but if you click and drag that, whatever is in there will then pop down here. Okay, so I'll go to my blocks and then I have this one here. That's a bit long, okay. So it says forward distance uh, is one. So right here, once this runs, when this block, this specific block here runs, it's gonna send whatever I've typed in here. So say I've typed in 200. It's gonna send whatever I've typed in here and the value, either true or false, it's gonna send down here. Okay, and if I then, so I wanna also have, oops, I wanna also have a turn right, 90 degrees. And they're always gonna be 90 degree turns, so I don't have to worry about that right now. So turn right, 90 degrees. Oh, you know what? I need an if else statement, sorry. Now this is a control structure, and I haven't talked about this just yet, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's a if, whatever, and then uh, if that's not true, else do this, okay? So if this right here is true, and you can see right now it's true right here. So if whatever you have selected here is true, it's gonna run what's in here. So I'll say turn right, 90 degrees, or else if it's not true, so if it's false, then it's gonna turn left 90 degrees. Oops. So I'm gonna change this to left. All right, so right now, if we look at what we have, I'm gonna put this at 250. If I run this, it's gonna say, okay, forward and turn. All right, what is that? And it's gonna go down here to see what I've defined as forward and turn. And it's gonna say, okay, I'll use that 250 you gave me that was right here. I'll use it in here. So I'm gonna say forward for whatever you put in, in this case, 250. And then if that Boolean right there is set to true, so if this is true, it's gonna run uh, the turn right for 90. If it's not true, it'll just go down and run it for a left turn. So if it's true, it'll run this one and not that one. If it's false, it won't run this one and it'll run that one, okay? We'll do more with control structures as we go. Let's see what that does. I'm going forward 250 and then I turned right because I have this set as true. If I change it to false, I'm gonna go forward and then I'm turning left, excellent. If I change this to say 100, I'm gonna reset, and there it only went 100. So I want it to go, you know, the 250, like that. Now, I know from the last one when I used variables, that if I did that, yeah, these would all be 250, like the first three or four, but then when I get up here, I would need to go one, two, three, and I could just do some math I could just do 250 times whatever each time I needed to go more than 250. But I wanna use a variable. I mean, I just learned how to use them, so let's use them, right? So I'm gonna set variable, uh, let's create a variable. Let's call it distance, like we did in the last video. Let's set distance to 250. That was the amount we needed. 250, when I say uh, put in an am amount here, I want it to be the number of blocks. So if I put in a one, I want that to be 250. So what I'll do down here is whatever this is right here, it's gonna be that times, or down here, it'll be that times 250. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So I'll take this operator like we did. I'll grab this here. This times 250, and it's turning gray because it's telling me you can't have it there. As I'm editing this video, I realized that I created a variable there. You can see it's called distance uh, 250, it's that orange one. And then I end up not actually using the variable. So if I were to re-record the video, I would probably just take the whole variable thing out. 
So whatever number I put in times 250. So if I have a one, it's gonna be 250. If I have a two, it's gonna be 500. If I have three, it's gonna be 750. So it'll just do the math for me. I'll just tell it the number of blocks that I want it to go and whether I want it to go right or left. So then I will try this out. Okay, forward for 250, turn left. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna grab this real quick. I'm gonna do control C, control V. So I've just grabbed it right there. And then control C, V. I think I need, I think I need 16 of them. Okay, and the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna pull these down here and just check. And as I go, I'll add uh, as I go along, right? So the first thing is to go forward and turn left. So that's a false. Go forward and turn right. So that would be a true. Go forward and turn left. So that's a false. Go forward and turn right. So that's a true. And let's see where that gets. And I get impatient. So I'm gonna set the velocity to, uh, the drive velocity to 100%. Cool, so I can see where I'm at right here. I now need to go forward for one and then turn left. And then I wanna go forward for one, two, three and turn left. So we'll change that to three and turn left. Okay, and that's how you use functions. Anytime you're gonna wanna have a set or a group of uh, blocks that you're gonna use over and over and over again, you can create a function and then you'll have one block instead of say six or seven blocks that you'd have to do over and over again. So this is a way to create a function and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.